in the annals of eternity, amidst the celestial realm beyond mortal comprehension. A story of cosmic significance unfolds, a tale of pride and humility, rebellion and redemption, and the enduring love of the divine. It begins with the radiant angel Lucifer, whose insatiable ambition led him to challenge the Almighty and demand a share of God's throne, ultimately resulting in his fall from grace. The fall of Lucifer explores the origins of this angelic adversary, Satan, and the cosmic battle that raged as he and his followers were cast into the abyss of hell. But it is also a story of hope, for it sets the stage for the eternal struggle, where God's unwavering love and the sacrifice of his son, Jesus Christ, offer humanity a path to salvation and redemption. Join us as we delve into these intertwined narratives which illuminate the perils of unchecked ambition, the inexorable hand of divine justice, and the triumph of divine love over the forces of darkness. Once upon an eternity, in the divine realm beyond human comprehension, a celestial council convened in the presence of God. The council included angels of every rank, but at its center stood two figures, the most radiant and powerful of them all, God and Lucifer, the brightest angel. Lucifer had always been the most magnificent creation of God's hand, endowed with unparalleled beauty and wisdom. His name meant light bringer, and he lived up to it, for he shone more brilliantly than any star in the heavens. But with this splendor came an innate flaw, an insatiable hunger for admiration, recognition, and power. One fateful day, Lucifer approached the throne of God with a demand that shook the celestial realm. My Lord, he began, I am the most splendid of your creations. I deserve more than to be just another servant among your legions. I should be worshipped, adored, and placed above all others. I should be God. The celestial council gasped in horror, but God in his infinite wisdom did not respond with wrath. Instead, he addressed Lucifer with gentleness. My beloved angel, God said, I created you in my image to bring light and harmony to the universe. You are exalted beyond all others, but you must understand that only I am the Almighty. To be God is to be bound by the responsibility of creating, sustaining, and judging all that exists. This burden is not one I can share. Lucifer's pride refused to bow, and a malignant envy seethed within him. He raised his voice, challenging God further. If you will not share your divinity with me, then I will take it for myself. I shall raise an army, a legion of angels who will follow me. We will overthrow you and I shall be God. God, with a heavy heart, knew the consequences of Lucifer's rebellion. He addressed the council, solemnly declaring, I cast you down, Lucifer, from the highest heavens. You shall be known as Satan, the adversary, and your lust for power shall lead you to hell where you will rule over the fallen and the damned. A cosmic battle erupted as angels loyal to God faced those swayed by Lucifer's seductive charisma. The rebellion was quelled and Satan and his followers were cast into hell, a place of eternal torment and separation from God's light. God's decision to send Satan to hell was not an act of selfishness, but an act of love for his creation. He knew that granting Lucifer's request would lead to chaos and suffering throughout the universe, for Lucifer's selfish ambition would corrupt all he touched. In casting Satan down, God demonstrated the importance of humility and the dangers of unchecked pride. And so, the story of Satan's fall from grace serves as a cautionary tale in the Bible, reminding us that even the most magnificent beings can be consumed by selfish desires. It teaches us the value of humility and the consequences of seeking power for its own sake. For in the end, true greatness lies in serving others and acknowledging the divine order that governs all creation. As Satan and his fallen angels found themselves in the dark abyss of hell, their celestial radiance dimmed into an eerie, malevolent glow. The once proud angel who had craved divinity now ruled over a desolate realm of eternal suffering. Satan, now a shadow of his former self, brooded in the depths of hell. His ambition had led to his downfall, and the bitterness he felt towards God grew like a gnawing void within him. He became the embodiment of rebellion, 
leading his legions to torment and corrupt the souls of the damned. Meanwhile, God's creation continued to flourish under his benevolent guidance. Earth, where God had placed his most beloved creation, humankind, thrived with diversity, beauty, and wonder. Yet, even there, the influence of Satan's rebellion could be felt. As the eons passed, Satan's jealousy and resentment festered. He devised a cunning plan to undermine God's creation by tempting humanity away from their creator. He entered the Garden of Eden in the guise of a serpent, and there he found Adam and Eve, the first humans. With honeyed words, he whispered lies to them, preying on their desires and curiosity. God, Satan hissed, is withholding knowledge from you. Eat the fruit of the tree of knowledge, and you shall be like gods yourselves. Eve, seduced by the promise of godhood, took the forbidden fruit and shared it with Adam. In that moment, humanity's innocence was shattered and they became aware of good and evil. They were banished from the Garden of Eden and sin entered the world. Satan rejoiced, for he had achieved a small victory against God's beloved creation. He continued to sow discord and temptation throughout human history, corrupting hearts and leading many astray. But God, in his infinite love and wisdom, had a plan to redeem humanity. He sent prophets, messengers, and ultimately his own son, Jesus Christ, to guide humanity back to the path of righteousness and salvation. The sacrifice of Jesus on the cross offered forgiveness and redemption to all who believed in him, countering the darkness that Satan had spread. The story of Satan's rebellion and humanity's fall from grace serves as a testament to the power of free will, the consequences of sin, and the enduring love of God. It is a story of redemption and hope, where even in the face of rebellion and temptation, the light of divine love shines through offering the possibility of salvation for all who seek it.